This is going to be called Rap Music, Music for the Last Days. 2 Timothy 3 verse 1 says, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. And you know we're in perilous times when the most vile and the most wicked men can come right into your living room without even entering your house by the door. You let them in through the television. They can talk to your kids at night while they are in their beds and not even live in the same state, but they still get into your house through the earbuds and the Bluetooth headphones. And rap music is ruining the mind of people. It makes them filthy-mouthed, perverted, and full of the world. Perilous times are here. Verse 2 says, For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. Rap music is music for the last days. And men shall be lovers of their own selves in the last days, as the verse said. And what are rap lyrics about? Self-glorification. Talking about how great they are. How good their writing skills are. How rich they are. How good their clothes look. Their jewelry, their cars, their houses, their women, their drugs. They love themselves. They made the word swag popular. What else does verse 2 say that men will be? Covetous. Rap lyrics are all about covetousness. And what else do they rap about? Everything they want. Everything they have. It's all about temporal and material things that make you worldly and fleshy. And what's the next word that's mentioned in verse 2 of Second Timothy chapter 3? Boasters. That's all rappers do is brag on themselves. They say, I'm so hot, I'm stunting, I'm so fly, I'm still fly. Just bragging and boasting on their own wicked self. Next word, proud. You never seen a more proud bunch of sinners. Too proud to say, I'm a sinner, I'm in need of a savior, I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. No, they don't say that. They'll blaspheme God, they're against God. So what's next, blasphemers? Jay-Z said, Jesus can't save you. Life begins when the church ends, in one of his songs. And whatever you, however you want to interpret what he said, either way, he's not giving glory to the Lord Jesus Christ, any way you look at it. And he wears a shirt with Satan, sodomizing Jesus Christ. Uh, the satanic rapper Tyler, the creator, is nothing but satanic filth, along with Hobson and Eminem. And even the older rappers, if you like old school rap like Easy e and Bone thugs and harmony and many other rappers use satanic messages in their songs to blaspheme the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you listen to that stuff, you will get full of hell and full of, full of the devil. Eminem has put out a song in the last year or so called something like Venom that's on the Venom soundtrack for the movie. And in this song, he says, knock, knock, let the devil in. And that's exactly what you're doing when you listen to that music. You're letting the, de letting the devil in. And he's a roaring lion walking about seeking whom he may devour. Uh, what's the next thing verse 2 says in Second Timothy chapter 3? It says disobedient to parents. That's a last day's sign. What do rappers rap about? Stuff your parents don't want you to do. Your parents don't want you to fornicate. Your parents don't want you to kill people. Your parents don't want you to do drugs. And rap lyrics contradict what a good parent says. What are the next words? Unthankful, unholy. You can't get any more unholy than rap music. And Snoop Dogg, someone who's been rapping since probably before I was born and still hasn't grown up, just put out a gospel album and it's nothing but a filthy mess. There's nothing godly about it. He just got a bunch of backslid gospel singers to be featured on it, and it's nothing but blasphemy. Uh, you can tell it's a wicked world, and it was number one on the gospel charts. Just more people getting rich off the name of Jesus Christ. He's no better than a money-hungry megachurch pastor or TV evangelist. I figured there would come a time when these rappers would figure out that there's money to be made just by using Jesus' name and getting themselves some gospel album 
maybe even becoming a preacher like some of them did, like Mace, and getting into taking old people's money and having them call in and give them their credit card number, debit card number, and just taking all their money because they love filthy lucre. The love of money is the root of all evil, and that's why rap music is even around. That's why the filthy, nasty TV evangelists are around, because they love money. Now, verse 3 in 2 Timothy 3 says, another, talks about some, um, some other signs, and it says, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. And you have never seen a more pleasure-seeking crowd than rap artists. What does rap music tell you to do? Satisfy your sinful flesh through drugs, through sex, through all kinds of sin. Verse 5, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. All these things remind us of rap music and what they rap about. They all talk about God. They have a form of godliness, but they deny the power thereof. Tupac says, only God can judge me. And I'm thinking, well, why aren't you scared? If God's going to judge you, why, why aren't you scared? Why are you continuing to live like the devil and influence millions of other people to live like the devil? And that's what Tupac did until he died. And back in like the mid-90s, he lived for the devil, rapped about how he lived for the devil, and influenced millions of people to do the same and still does to this very day. You have people that still listen to his music. Now verse 6, For of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins led away with diverse lusts. The devil is creeping into houses un unaware many ways. Through TV preachers. Through HBO, Showtime, Cinemax. The bad stuff on pay-per-view. The rap music. The laptop. And he definitely is creeping in unaware through rap music in many homes. Rappers are household names. And everybody knows Eminem. Everybody knows who Snoop Dogg is. Everybody knows who Ludacris is and Dr. Dre. Kids have their posters up in their rooms. They have all their CDs. And they're just subscribed to their Vivo on YouTube. But Proverbs 29.20 says, Seest thou a man that is hasty in his words? There is more hope of a fool than of him. Rappers are quick to just pop off at their mouth with whatever wicked thing comes into their mind. And don't you know that every single word you speak, you're going to give account for it. In Matthew twelve thirty six, it says, But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. All of the cussing, all of the perversion they speak, all of the kids they influence with their words, they're going to give account thereof in the day of judgment. James 3, 5 through 6 says, Even so the tongue is a little member, and boasteth great things. Behold how great a matter a little fire kindleth. And the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. So is the tongue among our members, that it defileth the whole body, and setteth on fire the courts of nature, and it is set on the fire of hell. By looking at these verses, you see rap music is the devil's dream. It's all about what they say with their tongue. And it's set on the fire of hell. He can indoctrinate you and your kids with so much stuff in just one song. And a lot of these rappers rap so many words per minute that they can get in all kinds of stuff to influence you with just one song. Words influence you. You can hang around people who use the wrong type of words and you'll become the wrong kind of person. Eminem has the song Rap God where he runs his mouth as fast as he can saying every vile thing you can think of in like three or four minutes or however long the song is. The rap group Bone Thugs in Harmony. It's an old group from the 90s but they still put out CDs. But even back then when they were popular they would rap about Ouija boards and other satanic junk. And now they have this mumble rap nonsense. It's just mumbling nonsense and you wonder why your kids act so stupid and don't have any sense. It's because they listen to stuff like this. And you wonder why they just want to live for the flesh because all these rappers are teaching them to live for the flesh. And sins of the mouth is the most common sin in the Bible. What do rappers do? They sin with their mouth. 
constantly cussing, constantly saying perverted things, constantly talking about killing people. Their mouth, their words, the wicked stuff that comes out of their lips, it's all going to be gave account of in the day of judgment. Rap music kills your mind. Proverbs sixteen twenty seven says, An ungodly man diggeth up evil, and in his lips there is as a burning fire. The tongue, your mouth, your lips are all talked about badly in the Bible because people have a bad problem with their mouth. And when you have no desire to live for God, no desire to live right, no desire to be an influence on other people, a good influence, you have no business being on a song where you say a million words that's going to influence mass amounts of people. It's a horrible country we're in where this is allowed to go on. Ecclesiastes 5.3 says, For a dream cometh through the multitude of business, and a fool's voice is known by multitude of words. Rappers are foolish, and they rub off on you and make you foolish. A fool's voice is known by a multitude of words. They're fools. Ecclesiastes 5.7 says, For in the multitude of dreams and many words, there are also diverse vanities. But fear thou God. Every pleasure or anything a rapper ever had, King Solomon already had it and said, he said it was all vanity. He even said in many words there are diverse vanities. Everything a rapper has and says is meaningless junk. Imagine getting to the white throne judgment as a rapper who has been rapping meaningless junk their whole life that's been leading people to hell. Psalms 59.12 says, For the sin of their mouth and the words of their lips, let them even be taken in their pride and for cursing and lying which they speak. Rap music is nothing but sins of the mouth. Proverbs 18.7 says, A fool's mouth is his destruction, and his lips are the snare of his soul. Not only is rap music filthy in the lyrics, it will only lead you to be materialistic. What do they rap about? The stuff they have, even if they don't have it. Colossians 3.2, set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. That's where they have their affection, though. It's on the earth, and they lead you to have your affection on the earth. They're not rapping about how great God is, how great heaven is. They rap about how great they are and how great the rims on their truck is and how great their new chain is. And some of them even wear the Jesus peace chain, yet their heart is black and they don't give a rip about Jesus. It's just blasphemy to wear a Jesus necklace that big on your, sh on your chest when you don't even love Jesus. You don't give glory to Jesus. You blaspheme Jesus. You think you're Jesus. Uh, 2 Corinthians 4.18 says, While we look not on the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Christians ought not to have their mind on clothes and shoes and jewelry and the new Jordans. Uh, we need our mind on the Bible, on prayer, on Jesus Christ. Rap music makes it hard to think on these things. It makes it hard to think on anything that's holy. If you're listening to Lil Pump and Nicki Minaj and 6 9 and any other godless rapper that looks like he's devil-possessed anyway. Uh, Philippians 4, eight says, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. And you can't tell me that you can sit and listen to rap as you go to sleep and think on these things that Paul just said to think on. What about the murder in rap music? Romans 129 talks about being filled with all unrighteousness and murder. In Eminem's music video for Framed, what does he have? Bodies that have been murdered. In his song 3 a.m., what does he talk about? He talks about murdering people. And they say 3 a.m. is the witching hour. Wonder why he chose that time as the name of his song. When the devil and witches and all their little imps are the strongest, supposedly, is around that time. No wonder he chose 3 a.m. for the name of the song. 
John 8, 44 says the devil was a murderer from the beginning. He's behind rap music. He's behind the record label Murder, Inc. that used to be popular. What's up, what's up with all the songs about murder? When you look at Tupac's songs and the lyrics of Eminem, they talk about murder. Uh, the devil's behind the lyrics about killing people and shooting people and raping people. And Christian rap is about as much nonsense as so-called Christian rock. The most popular Christian rapper I know of, named Lecrae, is as worldly as they come. He does songs with secular rappers who are God-haters. And what you're saying, what are you saying when you do Christian rap, when you're a Christian rapper? What you're saying is that you just got saved and you can't let go of the world because all Christian rap does is keep the taste of the world in your mouth. And the Christian rappers say, we're trying to help the sinners get right with God by using the music that they like and that they can relate to. But what they're really doing is using the same music to supposedly help them that's actually been keeping them down. You can't make rap music Christian. You can change the words, but the beat's still wicked. It is still that same wicked beat that appeals to the flesh and reminds you of the secular stuff. 1 John 2.15 says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. James 4.4 4 says, Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is the Fellowship of the world is enmity with God. Whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Now, what about the sexual content of rap music? It's filthy. It's rotten. The rapper Nicki Minaj is teaching young girls to act like a bunch of whores. And do you want your precious little daughter to grow up and be a whore? Don't let her listen to Nicki Minaj. Her mouth is as filthy as any 100 lost people put together. Her name itself, get this, her name itself implies sexual perversion. Menage, or in menage a trois, or however you say it, refers to three people together sexually. It's perversion. And people are letting their young girls have CDs by a person whose name itself has to do with sex perversion. This person has sold millions and millions of CDs, her, her videos on YouTube have billions, not just millions of views, but billions of views. You think this isn't a serious issue, and a lot of preachers, they'll sometimes preach against Catholicism or other wicked religions, but this stuff's affecting kids a whole lot more than any of that stuff. It's affecting probably people in your church a whole lot more than any of those false religions a whole lot more than a Jehovah's Witness or a Mormon knocking on their door. They're affected by these wicked people a lot more than some guys riding a bike and knocking on somebody's door. And fornication is condemned over and over again in the King James Bible. And your Bible is against the content of rap music because of what it says, because of what it stands for. 1 Corinthians 6.18 says, Flee fornication. Every sin that a man doeth is without the body, but he that committeth fornication sinneth against his own body. Proverbs 23, 27 says, For a whore is a deep ditch, and a strange woman is a narrow pit. Nicki Minaj is a deep ditch. She's blinded by the devil. If the blind lead the blind, they both fall into the ditch. And it's not just religious leaders that are blind and leading people into hell and into a ditch. It's these rappers that are going to answer to God for all the millions of people that they've helped along the way to hell. And there was a day when I was blinded by music and sin and the devil. And I'll never forget the day when I had my eyes opened to how sinful all the rap music was, all how sinful the rock music was. Second Corinthians 4, 4 says, "...in whom the God of this world had blinded the minds of them which believe not." lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. The devil, the God of this world, has designed the world to deceive you from the time you could walk until however long he can keep you in deception. And something has to happen to open your eyes. And I remember 
when I had my eyes open to sin and to rock music and rap music and my sinful condition. I came to Jesus Christ as the guilty sinner that I was, and I believed on the Lord Jesus Christ to save my wicked soul from hellfire. And you need to get saved if you're not saved. And if you're not saved and you die, then you will go to hell for all eternity and you'll never get out. But if you're not saved, you need to believe the gospel. You say, what's the gospel? The gospel stands for glad tidings. Uh, Paul gives us the gospel. He says in 1 Corinthians 15, 3, he says, Jesus Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and that he was buried and rose again the third day according to the scriptures. So Jesus Christ died for our sins. He died for your sins because you're a sinner. You've sinned against God. You've offended him highly with your sin. Romans 3.23 says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So Jesus Christ died for our sins. He was buried and rose again the third day. Jesus Christ lived a sinless life, and he died on the cross. And when he was on the cross, Jesus took our sin and put it on him. He became sin for us. He took all of your sin. And he was buried and rose again. When he rose again, this proved that he was sinless. And it proved that he was God in the flesh. And if you come to Jesus Christ as the guilty sinner that you are and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and what he did on the cross to be your payment for sin, then you can be saved and have eternal life. See, Jesus already paid for all the sins of mankind on the cross. And it's up, for, up to you to accept that payment or to reject that payment. There's only two choices. You can accept it and go to heaven when you die. Or you can reject it and go to hell when you die. But I hope that this study has helped some people. And I hope that it's opened some people's eyes that may be already saved to this wicked music. You need to get rid of it. You need to bring it all together and burn it. And if you're not saved, the first thing you need to be worried about is getting saved. Believing on the Lord Jesus Christ to pay for your sins. And then after you get saved, then clean up your life. Because you can't clean up your life before you get saved. You don't clean up your life to get saved. You clean up your life after you get saved and you have the Holy Spirit living in you the moment you believe the gospel that can help you get rid of sin in your life. But this has been Rap Music Music for the last days.